How you doing, guys? Hi. Today is Saturday, April 4th, all day. All night. And this week, we're going to show you uh, March's Horror Pack, something from Target, and something from Facebook Marketplace. So, we're just going to dive right in, and I'll show you everything that we have. Some of this stuff has been sitting on the shelf. The, uh, the last thing I'm going to show has been sitting on the shelf for about maybe five weeks, four weeks, around there. At least a month. Yeah, at least a month. So the Facebook Marketplace meetup was a good month ago. Yeah, but uh, we're going to start off with... Box Pass. March's Horror Pack. Uh, like I've always said, I've been getting Horror Pack since first time they ever did it. Day one. And... I've been getting the Blu-rays, so we're just going to dive in and see what's in it this month. As always, Marie's going to yank it. Nope, slip. Nope, slipless. And the first one is... Ooh, it's number 45. And it is... It's all in there, upside down. Rewind. And this is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. It is, as she said... Number 45 in the collection. This one, I can't tell you what it's about because... See, it looks like it's upside The back down. is blank. So... It's wraparound artwork. Yeah. It's... it's The artwork is... On the front, <laughs> it's regular. And on the back, it's the same artwork, but backwards. She's upside down. And upside down. So it's... Mm -hmm. The artwork is like um, that movie... Uh, uh, as so below, as so above, as so below, that it's reversed on the cover. But this one is reversed on the front and the back. So, intrigued on this one to see what it's about. I have no idea, especially since there's nothing written. But, happy to have that one. Keep the hard pack editions going. Next one. Rewind reminds me of a movie. Well, it feature. is a movie. Feature, like fast forward, play. Yeah. Oh, we have it. Yes, that one we do. Mmm. Love horror movies? Try surviving one. <clears throat> this movie is pretty good. Uh, it has Robbie K. Uh, Nick Rutherford in it. That's the only two people I, I know. But it is a rooster teeth. Roosters have teeth? Yeah, I guess this one does. <laughs> and it's called Bloodfest. This movie is pretty good. It's similar to Hellfest. That it's a bunch of people at... Instead of like uh, Hellfest. That it's um, like a, a rave. This one is... If I remember right. It's like at a, a carnival or something like that. Or it was... No, Hellfest was a... Hellfest was a carnival. Yeah, and this was like a rave. But it is, it's a really good movie. I bought this a couple of years ago back at Best Buy. They had it cheap and I had my $5 certificate, so I picked it up. But It's like a bunch of people at a club yeah. drinking blood. Oh yeah, it's pretty decent. I enjoyed it. Fans flock to a festival celebrating the most iconic horror movies. Hmm. Yeah. But I would say if... Uh, you liked Hellfest, and you never heard of this. I would say check this one out. It's pretty good. This one, I'll be selling it. The brand new factory sale yeah. one. If anybody's interested, leave a comment down below, or down below in the description will be my Instagram. Send me a DM, and, you know, we'll wheel and deal for it. If we don't need interested. two on Blu-ray. No. Next one. I can't what believe can I be? pulled out the first one first. I mean, the limited edition first. I don't have this one. How can you be an accidental? I don't know. <laughs> accidental Exorcist. Have no idea about this one. But I like Exorcist films. Uh, evil touches all of us. <laughs> the Exorcist meets the Evil Dead meets Apocalypse Now. A must see. A riveting masterpiece. Creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that face on the back. I know. Back's pretty good. Look at all the faces. There's the back right there. Looks pretty decent. But I've never heard of this film. But I'm intrigued in checking it out. See what it's all about. If anybody seen this, comment down below. Mm. Let me know. But I've never heard of it. 
extremely imagining film touching on touch existential issues, but handled with an intensely dark humor. Okay. They cross all their T's with crosses. <laughs> they, they look like crucifixes. Last one in horror pack. Pack cross. Ah, unrated director's cut. Another movie I have. More dead. Yeah. This is uh, George A. Romero's Land of the Dead. Oh, th this is an upgrade. No, right? uh, yeah, it's an upgrade. I have this on DVD. DVD. So, now I have the Blu-ray. So. There you go. Yeah, happy to have that. It's not the best of his uh, zombie films. I don't mind zombie films. I actually like them. But uh, I'm happy to have upgrade this one in my collection. Like I said, I'll be getting rid of the DVD, put in the Blu-ray in its spot. I was going to read that. Perfect picture and purest digital sound available. Yeah. But um, okay. I'm happy to have this one. Like I said, it's not the greatest one, but... Um, they think it's perfect. Yeah. I, <laughs> I've been really reluctant on which horror movies I upgrade because since I get horror pack, a lot of times I don't want to upgrade a movie and then I get it in a horror pack. So when it comes to like the higher end titles, I'll upgrade those. But when it comes to movies like this or... What was the first one? Oh, like uh, other ones that, I, that I've upgraded. Oh, like last month, Drag Me to Hell. Mm. You know, it's a movie that I didn't upgrade just for the sole purpose of sooner or later, Horror Pack's going to have it. Yeah, I was going to say the first one was the limited edition. Yeah, but certain movies that I have on DVD that I've upgraded from Severin or Vinegar Syndrome or even Scream Factory Collector's Editions, those, they're pretty much... Never going to come on, on a horror pack. Even though horror pack did do uh, a Misery Collector's Edition. It's a lot rarer. So those I can see myself upgrading. But ones like this, no, I hold off. You don't want to see your zombies in high def? Uh, yeah, I do. But I, I'd rather wait for horror pack. You're choosy of your zombies. Yeah. Next thing is Target. Big bullseye on my chest. Oh. Target, I actually went there... Today. For some essentials. Yeah. I needed some essentials. Spoiler, they were out of 90% of essentials. Yeah. We went, I went over there looking for pretty much cleaner and Hand diapers. soaps and uh, Diapers, spray. yeah. And stuff like that. But while I was there, diapers. I wanted, since next, well, when this drops, Sunday, the next day, will be Easter. And I wanted to get some Easter stuff for my son. So while I was looking in the Easter section. <laughs> if you're watching this. Yeah. On mute or with subtitles? Okay. Sorry. Uh, they had this and I saw this for Marie. <gasps> Yay! When uh, we went to Target the last time, they had this and sh I bought my son uh Paw Patrol Easter one. And Paw Mar Patrol. Yeah. And Marie liked this one, but she's like, no, I don't want you to buy it. No, I don't want you yeah. to buy it. Well, she wasn't here this time, so I just bought it. And it is the dog. Who saves Easter. And I watched The Dog Who Saved Christmas and The Dog Who Saved Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Those are both good. So, but I like The Dog Who Saved Christmas better. Yeah. The second one. So Marie wanted this, but she wouldn't let me buy it. So without her there, I bought it for her. Oh, is it Zeus? The yeah. same one? Zeus it's the is same back one. to save Easter. Yeah. And it has Dean Cain again in it as the first two. Look at that poppy. So it's another one that goes with... The Christmas ones that we have. Now we have an Easter one. So I wanted to get it for Marie to keep her talking dog collection going. Oh gosh, I'll show you the back. There's Dean Cain right between the dog's ears. But Marie likes her talking dog movies. Again, like I said in the last video, don't judge her. She likes talking dog movies. I don't know. Not my thing, but <laughs> she likes them and she watches them with my son. So The guy in the money suit is creepy looking though. Oh yeah. But happy to get that for her. Yeah. I have three of those. Next one is uh, a bunch of movies I got from a guy from Facebook Marketplace. I was actually looking online at different apps and different things. And I was looking for, uh, you know, just movies? titles. 
yeah, movies, pretty much in general. Checking out, offer up, let go, Craigslist, anything. This guy had a bunch of movies. He was pretty much selling off his whole collection. He wanted four bucks a piece for him. And uh, he, when I, I messaged him, I said, oh, I'm interested in a couple titles that you have. Because I saw, I saw one title that pretty much made me want to go because it's not a print title. I'll show, yeah, I'll show you it after. It's a good one. But he says, oh, I'm going to be having a yard sale and I'll have the movies out there. Blah, blah, blah. And he goes, Are you, do you know which ones you want? I put them off the side. I said, not really. I know a couple of titles. If you want to hold those, I'll rather look through the rest. He goes, okay. So I went over there. You found a couple. Yeah, I found a couple. I actually wanted four. more. But when he told me four bucks a piece, I was just like, eh, I don't want to spend a lot. So to me, I grabbed the ones to me that were four dollars worthy or up there was other movies that to me weren't four dollars worthy so i left them but as i was talking to him i told i was telling him how i do youtube and you know i make videos and he said oh i watch youtube i watch collectors too he goes i watch films at home i said oh yeah he's a massachusetts guy and then he mentioned cinema sickness and down to movie and somebody named imperial collectibles aka bbg doesn't make videos that doesn't make videos but he follows imperial collectibles on instagram i'm like oh those I, are my people yeah i know <laughs> those i know those guys we started talking about them and you know he's probably was, like i'm sorry yeah <laughs> and pretty much when we started talking and everything when we went down to you know talk about the price i said you know this is how many titles i got and he's like this is the price. And it came down to 24 bucks for everything that I got. So it came down to around two-ish a title. So I was like, whoa. So I was... Okay. So I wish I would have known he was going to do that because I would have bought a bunch more. But I'm happy with what I got. Some of these are upgrades. Some of these are new to the collection. But the first one is Save the Last Dance 2. I enjoyed the first one. Yeah. I really enjoyed the first one with Julia Stiles. I love my dancing movies. Is Julia Stiles in this one? No. This is a different girl. This is the girl from... Uh, I'm trying to remember what else she was in. Her name is... Uh, her name was Lola. No. Her name was uh, Isabella Miko. But uh, she was in other movies. And I can't remember. I think she was in Cruel Intentions. And that MTV too. old school logo on it. Yeah. That. But... I was happy to have this. I actually watched this before, and I enjoyed it. It's not as good as the first one, by far. But good enough for me to grab from my collection. The DVDs, he was pretty much giving them to me for 50 cents a piece. So when I mentioned everything, you know, the 24, these were only 50 cents. These, he didn't budge on the price, so they were 50 cents. It was the Blu-rays that he gave me a better deal on. Next one, this movie, I love this movie, and I haven't had it ever in my collection. I haven't seen it. And this is... So it works out. Eight Men Out. I love this movie. This movie is a fantastic movie. i got to put a new case on this one. But it has uh, John Cusack, uh, Christopher Lloyd. Oh, John Cusack. It's the 20th anniversary uh, edition. D.B. Sweeney from the Cutting Edge movies. Uh, Charlie Sheen. I mean, this... Pretty good cast. Yeah, really good cast. This is a fantastic baseball movie. If you've never seen it, highly say check this one out. It is a fantastic movie. But there's the front. There's the back right there. Stupid sticker. But this case is kind of... Spent? Yeah, pretty much spent. So I'm not even going to try to get the sticker off. I'm just going to replace the DVD case and put it in a newer one and not even bother with it because this case is it's not broken it's just seen better days yeah it's just seen better days it's a tired case but happy for that one next one this movie again love this movie it sounds funny when you say happy for that. yeah and i haven't seen this movie in forever and it's a fan another fantastic film and this has liv tyler joaquin phoenix and jennifer Connelly in inventing the abbots another fantastic movie if you've never seen this movie what are you doing with your life? Great. 20th Century Fox. Yeah. What do you mean what but, uh, doing with my life? I don't know. Watch another movie. Yeah. A new American classic. Sensational. But this is, a, like I said, a very fantastic movie. That's an OOP now. 20th Century Fox logo. Oh, yeah. But that happy to have that one OOP. in the collection. Really, really happy about that one. That's cool. 
Next one. This movie is super cheesy and stupid. It looks fun. Yeah. But I. Oh, it's got Bill Engvall. Yeah, I've seen this movie before. Oh, it's, got, it's got a country singer. I've seen this movie before on TV. I think I saw it on the Country Channel. On C, what is it, CMT? It back looks, back in the it day. It looks comedy cheese because he's holding a fish and it says "Get Real." Yeah, and it is uh, Bill Ingvall and Billy Ray Cyrus in Bait Shop. This was a pretty funny movie. This one and uh, it's another fishing movie, Going Fishing, with uh, Danny Glover and Joe Pesci. That's a really good movie. But Bait Shop is a fun movie. A whopper of a comedy with the best cast ever. Mm. I would highly disagree with that, but I, w I have to say it is a funny movie. That's cool. But I'll I enjoyed it. it. Oh, yeah. That fish on the back. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a decent movie. I really like this one. But there's Bait Shop. Next one. A movie that... I don't think it was ever released on Blu-ray, but super happy to have this. I used, I used to have this on VHS back in the day that I got it on at Ames when uh, Ames was closing. And the cast I, right there. Yeah. And this is a fantastic movie. And this is Money Talks with uh, Chris Tucker, Charlie Sheen, and TJ Hooker. What's her name? Uh, I don't know. Heather Locklear. But this is a fantastic movie. I think Paul Sorvino is in it too as her father. But this is a fantastic movie. I love this movie. And I, I've i been looking for this for the longest time. So I'm really, really happy to have it. Because I love Chris Tucker films. It should be fun. It's got Chris Tucker in it. Oh yeah. He's a riot. But it's a really good movie. Again, if you've never seen it, I would say highly check this one out. And you might as well just keep telling me. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen it, Marie. This one, the only reason I got it is because it was a thriller and it had Anna Paquin in it. And it is The Darkness. Again, never heard of this film. It's the unrated version of it. But had Anna Paquin and it was a thriller, so I was going to give it a shot, especially for 50 cents. Exclusive. Of, sense. Yeah, exclusive, unrated, extended with more intense thrills. Shockingly original. She looks scared to death. Yeah. <laughs> look at that face. I was scared to death. It says right <laughs> look under her face. But yeah, look at her face right on the bottom. But oh yeah, mm. happy to have that one in the collection. But check that one out. Looks intriguing. Mm. And the last. DVD that I found. This guy thought this one was actually worth something, and I went online, and it goes for like seven bucks. And he's like, "Ah, forget it. You can have fifty cents." So I grabbed it again. <clears throat> it's a Disney. Yeah, it's a Disney. Never seen it, and it has uh, Steve Gutenberg and Kristen Dunst. I've probably seen it as in a kid. the Tower of Terror. Never Chills even. And thrills. Yeah, never even heard of it. Spectacular. Special effects. I've at least heard of it. Yeah. If anybody's seen it, comment down below. Let us know. But looks it looks fun. intriguing. Yeah. Pretty much anything Disney that's not animated, I'll pick up. Because me, the non, mm -hmm. the non Disney, uh, the, the Disney non animated stuff, I've always liked. I've liked those even before, you know, I met Marie. And I have a lot of them in my collection. But I always grab them. But happy to have that one. That's a, a no-brainer right there for 50 cents. Nice. And that is all the DVDs. <clears throat> Everything else is Blu-rays. One of the cool things was... The guy turkey bagged everything. So, the turkey bags are all dingy and gross. So, I'm going to throw the turkey bags away and just put them on the case. I mean, on the shelf. But, I got a... A nice stack. Yeah. A little bit of a stack right here. First one, this is an upgrade we in the watch collection. We this movie every year. Yeah, every year when we set up our tree it's on. on Black Friday, this is the movie that we put in. And we're finally going to have it on Blu-ray. Yeah, I've always had the Snapper DVD version. And 
I look at it as I only watch I only watch it once a year while I'm setting up the tree. Might as well, you know, DVD is just fine. But I found it on Blu-ray, and I was finally going to grab it because Maurice said last year, just get it on Blu-ray. Yeah. And it is Christmas Vacation. It does so. come out in a red case, I believe. Yeah, I think they they had a red case edition of this. But that one's neat. Yeah. You can find it fast. Yeah, but I'm happy to have this one finally in the collection, upgraded. So my DVD, yeah, my DVD version will be gone. Chevy Chase. Blu-ray in the collection. Next one. Again, I bought part two to this recently, and I wanted to see the first movie, and then I realized I have it on DVD, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to upgrade that movie before I watch it. And I haven't seen it anyway. This guy had it, so I was super excited to find it, and it is Zombieland on Blu-ray. Like I said, I only have the DVD of this. It's somewhere in front of me at the bottom, <laughs> but... Happy to finally upgrade this in the collection. Another upgrade from DVD to Blu-ray. So now I, uh, Marie can watch and I can watch Zombieland. And we'll watch Zombieland Double Tap. So really happy for that one in the collection. Now I'm staring at the wall. Thanks. Yeah. It <laughs> is. Should be down there. Yeah, right there. I see it. Next, next to all up, the zombies. Yeah, next to all the zombie movies and oh. Zoolander. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, right there. There it is on DVD. Come out. That'll be on Macari. Yeah, now it'll be on Macari. This one I was happy with because I've seen the first one. I think I've seen the first one. I've seen the last one. I've never seen the second one. I've seen some of them, yeah. And for the price, I ha I was gonna pick it up. And Martin it is, Lawrence, yeah, yeah, Martin Lawrence is funny. And it is okay. Big Mama's three film collection. So that's super a whole happy. lot of mamas. Yeah. And it has uh, Big Mama's House, Big Mama's House 2, Big Mama's Like Father, Like Son. So, happy to have that one in the collection. I don't have any of these in my collection, so this will be first time in the collection. I think I had the first one a long time ago on VHS, but now happy to have them all on Blu-ray. Next one. Oh, boy. I have this one on DVD. So I had I've to, I had to upgrade it to Blu-ray. So finally have them all on Blu-ray now. This is the last one I needed, and it is American Reunion, and this is the unrated edition. So I like best them. slice of pie yet. The yeah. American Pie movies. If I, you haven't seen them yet, yeah. Next team featurette. Yeah. Check them out. I would say check them out. They're all fun watches. I actually like American Reunion. I think it's a fantastic film. Pretty much all four of them. After that, once they... Yeah, the first ones are always good. Yeah, the first four are decent. After that, when they come to Band Camp and Book of Love, they're, they're in flames dropping out of the sky. But the first four, I yeah. love those films. Next one. This is a movie I watched on cable a long time ago. And I really liked it. It's a lot like uh, the movie Hitch with... Um, I think I've seen it. With uh, Will Smith. And this movie is pretty good. It has Kevin Hart, uh, Josh Gad, and it looks like a nice, fun watch. And it is The Wedding Ringer. They look like they're having fun on the back. Yeah, it's a really, really fun film. Look at his face, man. Yeah, he's pretty <laughs> much a guy that sets up... Uh, a guy and a girl together and then they get married. Wedding arrangements? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of a lot like Hitched. But Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. So, everybody that wants a good marriage or want, wants to find yeah. somebody, they call they, him. Yeah, they, they call him and he sets it up. But it's a really fun film. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, that was good. This one, I have it on... Oh, I love this one. This one, I have it on a two-pack with Sergeant Belko. With Steve Martin. This but is fine. this movie's so good, I had to have it on Blu ray. I love this. So I'm going to actually have it twice in my collection because I'm not getting rid of that double feature. And that is Major Pain on Blu ray. Super happy to have this one. Finally. You want me to tell you the story of the little engine that could? Yeah. Oh, I love that. This is a fantastic movie. It is. It's fun. It's super fun. Yeah. This is. I loved it. You know, again, like I've said, 80s. 90s comedies are always great. 
comedies were still like this, I would like them more. But this is a fantastic movie. It is, yeah. Next one. This movie, again, I haven't seen in a long time. I think this was actually a, a Best Buy exclusive. That it's a is lot the only of comedy way. kind of for you, huh? Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, is this guy had... He was selling his whole collection. I think it was for like 900 bucks or Best Offer. But the guy had like 500 movies. And there were almost every single one of them was comedy. And me, comedy being my least favorite genre, I left a lot behind. But I grabbed I could probably taken half of it. I, I grabbed a lot of the, the the classic movies to me. This one has uh, Eddie Murray, Murphy and Martin Lawrence, and that is Life. It's another one that's a fun movie. Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, two hours of laughter. That's a nice combo. Oh yeah, this is a fun movie. Marie will like this one. I know that for sure. And another dingy turkey bag. Yeah. It looks Tur like it just got little dust and wear all. Yeah, over I it. need some hand sanitizer after this. This one, oh. I've upgraded it from Blu-ray, then I had the HD DVD, and then I got rid of the HD DVD player and got rid of my HD DVD, and now I finally got it on Blu-ray. Again? Yeah. So I went from DVD oh. to HD DVD, back to DVD, and now finally Blu-ray. And it is Mallrats. I had to have it. This is a movie I, I love... Kevin Smith films. You're excited because you said Blu-ray first. Yeah. Like, what? And this is one of the ones I really, really enjoy. Oh, it's got the theatrical and extended version. Yeah. So I really wanted this in the collection finally on Blu-ray. Like I said, I had it on HD DVD, but never Blu-ray. So super happy to have that one. Boatload of special features. I think. Yeah. It has a, all usually all the Kevin Smith. Yeah, it has a bunch of special features on it. Deleted scenes, outtakes, oh, nice cast interviews, blah, blah, blah. Build Me Up Buttercup music video. The making of Mall Rats. By the Goops, directed by Kevin Smith. Feature yeah. commentary. Yeah, has a ton. Usually all Kevin Smith films have a ton of extras. Uh, extras. Usually sometimes longer than the actual movie. Next okay. one, another movie I saw on cable, and I didn't have it in my collection. Again... A stupid comedy, but I actually enjoyed it. And it's Christmas. around Christmas. And it is The Night Before. This has uh, Seth Rogen, Joseph, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Anthony Mackie. Three best friends, one epic party. But this was a, a really fun film. That was fun, yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. So I had to get this one in the collection. For, I like Seth Rogen, usually. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's it's a decent film, like I said. I needed some another Christmas comedy for the collection. So, happy to have that one. Next one. Yeah. I have all the movies, but I, when... It was funny because me and Marie were going through the collection. And I think uh, Movieholic Erin posted something on Instagram that she had a lot of the movies and I think she was watching them. And when she got to this one, Marie asked me, do you have this movie? I'm like, no. This is the only one I don't have. And then a week later, boom, popped up in my hand like a magnet. You found it. Yeah. And it is Little Fockers. Only one I didn't have. So. That's fine. Finally have that one in the collection. So. It was decent. It's not nothing great. Nothing to write home about. Nothing like the first movie. The first movie... Meet the Parents, I think it's the only it's the one that I've seen the, the most. most in my collection. Yeah, over Harry Potter or over everything else, Meet the Parents. I saw it in theaters, went in blind, didn't know nothing about it. Which never one saw do you it. think I've seen the most? Bambi. Yep. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> That's a no brainer. I went to the theater because I had nothing better to do and I saw Meet the Parents and I was in tears laughing the whole time. To this day, I still quote that movie. I love that movie. But um, I wanted to get this one for the collection. So, <laughs> happy. I have nipples. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that movie. But I had to get that one. Little Fockers. <laughs> Two more. Another movie. Have it in my collection. I think I have this on... on oh, a, this is fun. I think I have this on a double feature with Happy Gilmore. And uh, I wanted to get a single release of it. And it is 
Billy Madison. This is fun. Yeah. Out of all the early Adam Sandler films, this one is by far my favorite. A lot of people like, you know, um, Happy Gilmore or yeah. Wedding Singer or something. But... I recently watched Bedtime Stories for the first time, and I super enjoyed that. Yeah. But... Being a teacher, I appreciate this, this was one. This was Adam Sandler peak uh, comedy gold. Now... He should just yeah. stick to dramas. Uncut Gems, The Cobbler, yeah. fanta fantastic movies. His comedies, they stink on ice. They're I just... like them. I think Adam Sandler should still do some comedies. But Uncut Gems was a, a yeah. gem. But his, com say. his comedies nowadays are not as good as they used to be. So No, probably not. Yeah. Happy know. to Happy have this one. Dates was good. Yeah, but again, that's old Adam Sandler. Yeah. And the last one. Oh. This one, Rick was looking for it forever, Boy, trying to find it. This and is the then, one he jumped on. Yeah, and then uh, one day he found it at Second and Charles, and he finally got it in his collection. And then they re released it as an MOD, I think it was a couple months ago. Maybe or some, end of last year, beginning of this year, this finally got released on Blu-ray on MOD. But this guy had... The original one, the pressed edition, not the MOD. So he also had no idea what he had. Yeah, so I was very happy for it. It's the 15th anniversary edition of The Cable Guy on Blu-ray. So really happy for this one. This one that never went for like stupid money. This one went for like 35, 40 bucks. This is a fun movie. I've seen it. But like I said, to finally have it. Only well, phrase that I have it in my collection. I have it on DVD and a snapper, but <laughs> to finally have this on Blu-ray in the collection, I was gonna pick it up when I went there. This is the the one movie that caught my eye. Whenever I see um, pictures online of collections, there's like ten movies I'm always looking for that I scan the collection first before I look at anything else. There's like ten out of print movies I look for. On Blu-ray or DVD, and if this, you can find one movie that's pretty much worth the whole stack, I'll I'll uh, I'll yeah. buy it. I'll try to figure out uh, checks and minuses and prices and see if it's worth it and pick it up. Some but, music videos on there. Yeah, this guy had the Cable Guy, and he had like I said the 15th anniversary edition, not the pressed MOD one. Deleted and extended scenes, gag reels. So I was definitely. Going to scoop this one out. Jim it was Carey. a no-brainer to add this to the collection. And that is... Happy for that one. Everything that I got from that guy. Like I said, I got a, a lot of good stuff. Like I said, not a lot of uh, obscure stuff like I usually get. This... this like the DCM yeah, unboxing? This week is uh, a lot of more mainstream titles that probably 95% of the people that watch my videos will know what m almost every title is. But that is everything. Get a nice elevator here for you. That's a big stack. That's what she said. But, More Blu-rays. Yeah. Usually you pick up less Blu-rays, but you got a good deal. Yeah. When when I find the deals... It's a Blu-ray sandwich. Yeah. Pretty well, much a, a DVD Blu sandwich. It's Yeah. But... Usually when I find the deals, I'll upgrade. But um, like I've, I've said before, I'm not, I don't uh, format chain. I buy all formats. If if I have a player for it and I can watch it, I'm going to buy it. And, you know, but this time it was great deals on Blu-ray, so I scooped them up. But I have more videos coming. I have a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be making a video of something I got from an Instagrammer that's coming. I'm, we're going to be filming it same day today, but it'll be the next video that drops from an Instagrammer. I got stuff from Craigslist. That's an amazing deal I got. I jumped, on, stacks of I jumped on that. I got some stuff from uh, eBay. And then on the shelf, I still have something from Savers before the whole epidemic. I have uh, Warner Archives from their big sale. I have stuff from Vinegar Syndrome from their big sale. Severin from their big sale. Uh, a bunch of stuff from eBay. A bunch of stuff from Macari. Big lot still. I have... Uh, oh, I found uh, 
something at Big Lots. I was very excited. Oh, yeah. I have a huge order coming from MVD from their Arrow, Arrow video sale. I have, I mean, with all we're, the... We're stocked. Yeah, with Don't all worry. the... With all the epidemic sales that they had we're staying in when all the stores closed everybody pretty much had 30 to 50 percent off sales and mvd with their arrow sale that was almost some of the titles were up to 80 percent off you jumped on the bandwagon i i went nuts and i bought from pretty much to support all the companies that mm -hmm. are the local business guys you know to try to help them stay open i bought something from everybody i just yeah i'm Worked like 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 last week, you know, you get I'll my card, you I'll get my card, deal. you kick my card. Just here, just start throwing money. I was just making it rain with all these uh things. <laughs> so there's going to be a ton of videos coming with a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of boutique stuff, some killer slips. Can you deal with that? Oh, yeah, some killer slips. One of the titles that Marie got has an unbelievable slip. Oh, yeah, I was excited but, about that um, one. That's all coming up, so, you know. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe yeah, button. Yeah, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're going to have a ton more for you. And so if, if you, you like this video, hit the like button. I stole your line, I'm sorry. If you didn't like it, you know, that, like I said, there's going to be a ton coming. Um, if you want to subscribe to us, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, like I already said. You want to leave a comment down below about any of these titles that I showed, some of these titles that I had questions on, let us know. But until next time, guys, bye. bye.